Hi, this is John Doe. I'm back again, guys. So we're commencing season four of my Film Fanatic commentaries. Just a brief recap, guys, because a lot's been going on recently. I've transitioned away from YouTube and now I'm dabbling in Spotify, Amazon Music, RSS feeds and various other podcasting streaming platforms so do check out all of that information etc um i'm on the socials i'm on twitter i've set up a link tree which contains all of my social media links so yeah if you are a big fan of my commentaries that's where i'll be sort of archiving everything moving forward i will still dabble in youtube every now and then i'm probably going to upload all of season four onto youtube but if you're looking for anything earlier your best bet will be to check out spotify and all the other platforms i've previously mentioned so film today we are checking out unlawful entry the year's 1992 and this film's directed by jonathan kaplan I am streaming this movie via the Icon app on Amazon Prime. There's a free seven-day trial, so if inclined, if you want to sync up that way, you can uh, watch the movie, listen to me, etc. You could obviously cancel the subscription after seven days and it won't cost you anything. Um, This film starring Kurt Russell and Ray Liotta. So very nice. It's been a few years since I've seen this as well. So what I've done, guys, I've got the film on pause. So that's timestamp zero. Subtitles on, if inclined. And I'll give you a countdown in five and we'll sync up. Five, four, three, two, one. Hit play. Just give me... um, a few moments just to clear my throat uh it always takes a while for my voice to warm up with these commentaries but it won't be an issue long term so the year's 1992 20th century fox very nice looks like one of their older logos i guess you'd imagine they've spruced it all up wow crashing wave thing coming Oh no! So we've got what is this? Entertainment? Oh, Intermedia, right? So Largo Entertainment presents just to sync in purposes. This JVC Entertainment. So this is white on black. Charles Gordon Production. It's seductive, it's sinister, it's the early 90s. You know you love an early 90s thriller. And there's Kurt Russell, title. Nice helicopter shot, Ray Liotta, God rest his soul. Oh, we got us a Madeline Stowe, Last of the Mohicans, rescue that bitch. Somebody's dead on the ground. Oh, it's a crime scene, so unlawful entry. He's got a red text. And there's a car, police car, heading off. Oh, it's got to be LA, isn't it? It's crime ridden. It's the early 90s. It's the LA riots. Every street corner, a crime's unfolding. So we're pulling out. Oh, that looks like the underpass from... um, No, that's not the underpass from T2. Well, then again, same locale, I guess. Gonna get a Hollywood Hill shot. Oh, it's a smog ridden skitty skitty cityscape shot. So James Horn is the uh, composer, very nice. Yeah, nice aerial coverage as we transition out into the uh what I would guess is this like the suburbs or the nicer part of uh LA, I guess. Fucking palm trees everywhere, aren't they? Oh, this must be set in the summertime. Summer, summer, summertime. Oh, who's in the pool? It's got to be Madeline Stowe, you bitch. So she's playing the character of Karen Carr. Assuming that's her in the fucking swimming pool. 
Of a skimpy red number on. Oh, that could be anyone. Maybe it's not her. Shit. Screenplay by Lewis C. So, enjoying the music. Nice transition to the evening. Same shot. Yeah, I like it. There's a dog barking outside. Yeah, right. That was added in post. Oh, Strict Parents on the TV, on the blower. So, directed by Jonathan Kaplan. There's Kurt. There's Madeline. Happy couple. And there's a cat. Oh, the cat's got a big fucking picture. Oh, tell, oh, the cat. The cat's running the show, baby. This is my fucking home. Anybody intrudes, they're going to get shredded. So there's Madeline Stowe. Very attractive. Come on, cat, baby. You should be tucked up in bed next to her. Well, don't tell me Kurt Russell's fucking about downstairs. What are you doing, mate? So, we're getting some rapid-fire dialogue here with uh, Kurt Russell. Madeline's got the cat. The cat's amazing. Let's throw that one out there. Kurt, mate. Kurt. I'm not paying you by the hour, mate. This isn't a 24-7 setup, son. You need to fucking zone out, mate. I like Kurt's short hair and glasses. Very nice. Ain't you fucking law... No, no, Kurt's not fucking law enforcement. Sorry, guys. Getting confused here. Ray Liotta's the fucking shady uh, police officer, isn't he? Think we got a break in? Guys, talk about a scatty fucking husband character Kurt Russell's playing here. Zero fucking self-awareness. Oh, yeah, mate. Grab yourself a golf club. Oh, yeah. I ah, better watch out, Kurt. They may get the jump on you, mate. So, just to note, guys, Kurt's playing the character of a Michael Carr. So, it's Michael and Karen Carr. Happy couple, for now. For the shit, it's the fucking fan. Oh, it's always important to switch the lights on. Because we get a nice POV. So, it's a nice home. Yeah, they're obviously uh, a pair of them working. Oh, fucking hell. The way he's... Um... Oh, so she's still upstairs. So is he into life? There seems to have pictures fucking scattered everywhere. What is his fucking job role? Nice sort of lowish angle. Oh, he's checking the uh, closet. Broom cupboard. Oh, it's important to check behind the clothes hangers. Right. It's a nice camera shot here. There's... Oh, telephone. Oh, it's an old school phone fax, isn't it, Combo? So they're dragging this out nicely. Decent. Lighting's on point. Fairly naturalistic. Lights are flickering. Tell me you're a thoroughbred, Kurt. No rock is left unturn unturned, mate. Hmm. I get the impression somebody's in the house here. And he ain't done his fucking due diligence. Look at him. Celebratory beer. Kurt Russell style. Mate, your lights are fucking flickering. Oh, look. Oh, you fucking swat. Music's amazing. It's so OTT. My concern's this fucking cat. Madeline looks spectacular. Ah, uh, somebody in the house. Oh, shit. We got an intruder alert. LA style. Get him, Kurt. Oh, Madeline. Weaponize yourself, bitch. Oh, look. 
They're playing the fucking racist card, aren't they? Oh, it's always a black man. Oh, he's an old, he's an old black guy. He's very incense. He's about to slice and dice Mrs. Carr. I think this guy wants a fucking watch. He wants some fucking bloodshed. Look at him, look into my fucking eyes. Oh, this fucking clown backing up. Oh, Carrot's looking very traumatised. Madeline's hanging on for dear life. It's a bit of a standoff here. Oh, shit. He's a bagger and tagger. He's going to take the fucking wife with him. Treat yourself, son. Fucking hell. So he's pulling her off. What the fuck is this guy fucking doing? Oh, don't tell me they fell in the fucking swimming pool. These rich ass fucking pricks. So immediately, guys, shout out to the uh, cinematography here. Great use of light, subjective camera, POVs. So clearly the guy's fucked off. So in comes fucking Ray Liotta. Yeah, okay. I thought it was a little bit stereotypical. Oh, the intruder has to be a black guy. So I know it's 1992, guys, but, you know, at least deal us a different hand, you know? Oh, that's Ray Liotta. So I see coming off uh, Goodfellas here. Young-looking Ray Liotta. Rest in peace. Fantastic actor. So Ray Liotta's playing the character of uh, Officer Pete Davies. Oh, look, he's clocked a wife. Oh, yeah. Bad lieutenant incoming. He can't stop looking at the wife, look. Officer Pete Davies, like, yeah. it's okay, Mrs. Carr. Why don't you come into the back with me and we get fucking naked, love? How's that fucking sound? Wink, wink. I am a police officer. I guess it was more desperation, isn't it? You caught him. He, he, I don't know what he was trying to do. He was backing away with the wife. He was trying to get out. Cat's like, get off me, Officer Pete Davies. I said, you don't smell right, mate. Madeline, he's a little bit fucking dodgy. Cat's clocked the fucking dodgy lieutenant, isn't he? What an unusual entry point. Aerial from above. That's pretty fucking random. I mean, the robber, the breaking and entering guy, he didn't look like the smartest of souls. Oh, yeah. Aren't you caring, Officer Pete Davies? He couldn't wait to fucking touch Mrs. fucking car. Karen Carr. Get a fucking naked, bitch. Oh, yeah. This is Officer Pete Davies' neighbourhood. Pete, Pete knows about guns. You want a gun? You want a gun, Michael? I can get you a fucking gun, mate. Get your full fucking arsenal. Cat's like, did you see your fucking dog, Pete Davies? Piss off. This is my fucking home. I don't want some stinking fucking mutt bombing about. Cat is not, the cat is not fucking happy right now with Pete fucking Davies. He's clocked, the cat's clocked him. So it's good, decent opening so far, Fate to Black. Fucking hell, guys, you just, uh, I don't know, start exercising more fucking self-awareness, you know? Well, he could have slit her throat. I blame Kurt Russell, man. I mean, clearly, this ain't fucking, we're a million miles away from, like, Snake Plissken or McCready. This... Character Kurt Russell's playing. He's a 
he's a little bit more vulnerable here, isn't it? But it's all good, you know. So what are they punching above their way? Can't afford the place. So yeah, you know uh Pete Davies is gonna be coming back into play very, very soon. Especially if they're looking to like, you know, improve like home security. Yeah, they're gonna start uh Letting the uh, random police officer into their lives. Not realising he's he's a fucking maniac. Wow, so look at Kurt Russell here, baby. What is going on with that fucking tie, mate? That is fucking glorious, man. The tie's the same colour as the fucking background building. What the fuck, baby? Only in fucking LA do you have that kind of set up. Where you close fucking mirror buildings. And who's this? Is this a fucking tie challenge? Which dickhead's got the most colourful fucking tie on? Demographics? Where the fuck are we to? It's like the fucking discarded... It's a fucking Blade Runner set. After filming. It's Tyrell's fucking office. Oh no, it's a theatre. I don't even know where the fuck we got. See a fucking chairs and a car in the background. And a giant fucking fresco. So what's Kurt Dublin in? Architecture? He's also doing fairly well for himself. I know they had that brief conversation with the missus regarding their finances. But, um... No, he looks like he's, uh... Oh, so she's decorating, I guess. Oh, uh, so the police haven't come back. Oh, don't tell me Pete's being attacked. There's the cat. The cat's got to become a thing in this commentary, guys. Yeah, it's been a while. How many years? I probably haven't seen this film since the 90s, but... Oh, don't tell me Officer Pete kills the fucking cat. Oh, shit. Every part, every part of LA is fucking high crime, mate. What are you talking about? So Wickham security coat. Interesting. There's some fixtures and fittings at play. Okay, so what they're going to turn on? They're alarming the uh, air vent, the top tier, the top entrance, right? Oh, Pete, Pete, Pete's back. He's suited and booted. He can't wait to fucking move in. You shady fucking shark. Pete fucking Davies. Oh, Miss, me and Mrs. Carr gonna become a thing very soon. Oh, wink, wink. You didn't hear that, hubby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, give me a fucking beer, mate. Let me fucking tag team your fucking wife. So Ray Liotta's looking wonderful. Like, he can't stop talking to the fucking wife. Whispering sweet fucking nothings into her ear. Fucking hell, Kurt. You want to keep an eye on this fucking officer. Very fucking dodgy, mate. What the fuck, man? It's a safe room. So what, you just, you lock yourself in the safe room and then you let the intruder steal everything. Great fucking security setup, this is. So this is truly fucking dodgy. Anybody who's seen the film, the fact that this Pete Davies character, he's going to know the entry codes, you know? So this is a way in for him, you know? Pyramid. So he's got the code word. Fucking hell, man. Great bonnet shot. Low angle. Almost reminiscent of like... You think of like a Scorsese gangster 
flick. This is very reminiscent of like uh, Goodfellas, isn't it? Yeah, Ray and Kurt looking wonderful, yeah? Yeah, decent, very good opening so far. As I said, guys, a few years since I've seen this, but I had a feeling that this uh, film was going to hold up a treat. Yeah, the reason why I'm watching this, I'm currently doing a series. It's called uh, 90s Villains, Memorable Characters. So Madeline's warm into uh, fucking Ray. Oh, Pete and Karen. Oh, shit, Michael, letting him in. Yeah, as I was just saying, guys, I'm currently doing a series. So 90s villains, memorable characters. I'm doing like short like bios. So currently I've completed four bios. Oh, the cat's not going to be fucking happy. Fucking dog bombing about. Yeah, I've completed four bios. So we've got uh, Mrs. Mott. So that's the crazed fucking babysitter from the hand that rocks the cradle we've got martin bernie the obsessive abusive husband from sleeping with the enemy uh carter hayes neighbor from hell from a uh, pacific heights and then our uh is it hedra or hedra carlson so the crazed fucking roommate from uh it'll come to me in a minute What's the fucking film? Single white female. Apologies for that. And I've got two additional bios that I'm currently working on. Max Cady, Cape Fear, and Catherine Trammell, Basic Instinct. But I do plan on doing another bio here for this uh, Officer Pete Davies character played by Ray Liotta in Unlawful Entry. So yeah, do check out that playlist. I'm having a lot of fun putting together these videos, these bios. Bounce back from what? Oh, that's going to be the least of your fucking concerns, mate, when I get my fucking hands on her. I know I'm law enforcement. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, mate. Sweet fucking tail. You're, you're churning out here. But she looks great fucking naked. I mean, you would know about it, wouldn't you? Look at fucking Ray Liotta. Not breaking fucking eye contact. He's a beaut, a beaut of an actor, isn't he? All in the fucking eyes, man. He's got a great set of eyes. So he's worming his way into the uh, dynamics of these couple. Oh yeah, you'd know about fucking scary Pete, your toothy fucking smile. Fucking glorious, baby. You to... Oh shit! Yeah, I remember this. He takes him out out on patrol. I think it's during the uh, evening, isn't it? Get to see a shadier side to his uh, persona. Yeah, this is really cool so far from Ray Liotta. Very, very measured. It's very much. Uh, it's a slow build with this character. Starting out decent, but just going to spiral out of control. So where are we to? So I don't know what rank he is in regards to like law enforcement. Yeah, I wouldn't like to say. Oh, we're heading out. So we're jumping into it. Very nice. Ha 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 ha. So, what were you talking about? Good cop, bad cop. Bad cop, clearly, it's the one sat to the right. Ah, classic Ray Liotta lamb. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, sweet Mary. Let's pull her over. Oh, yeah. Time for some fucking sweet Mary action. Oh, officer. No, ma'am. You need to step out and chew me off, love. I don't care about her fucking license, look. Some fucking banging over the bonnet action incoming. Look at him. Fucking glorious, baby. So are we out? We're at the burritos joints. 
So like fast food? Okay. An unusual fucking area. So office warehouse. 2782233. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, so he knows the uh, clientele. So this is not his first fucking rodeo. So this is also part of Pete's fucking deal. Bombing about at night. Oh, I've got some Coca-Colas. Burgers maybe? I don't know. Burritos I guess. Ha 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 ha. Fucking hell man. So someone's shat in this fucking container. Is this even fucking food? Yeah, Kurt's like, uh, food poisoning incoming. I think I'll give it a fucking miss. Just stick with the fucking Coke. Ha 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 ha. Phoenix. Oh, we got a prostitute. Clocks her. Or an escort. I guess back then, though, early 90s, they were referred to as uh, prostitutes. I ain't gonna fucking stop her. Oh, yeah, love. Fucking Poundland fucking prostitutes. She's fucked off immediately. She weren't willing to haggle. Oh, shit. Oh, so that was a crime scene. Right, here we go. Pete's about to get very fucking intense. Keep away. He loves the fucking killing, this guy. Police, let us in. Pipe down, bitch. Cuffer, cuffer. Fuck you, son. Sit down. Oh, the kid's bombing out. Fucking war zone, isn't it? Oh shit, Kurt to the rescue. Ah, uh, potentially saved this little tyke's fucking life. Kid don't fucking care. Didn't even bother saying thank you. Oh shit. Oh, it's Kurt kicking off. Wow. Oh. I'm going to get some fucking sidewalk action here. What the fuck? It's Charles fucking Manson. What's he doing in this fucking movie? So nothing shady right now regarding Pete. It's all by the book. Oh, like, here we go. So telling his partner to disappear... And now we're going to see something here. To serve and protect. Yeah, right. What the fuck? Little late night excursion. Pete style. Oh, right. Where the fuck are we to here? Oh, look. Oh, he's found the guy. So the guy from earlier. Start of the film. Breaking and entering. Kurt can't believe it. Pete is serving up revenge on a fucking plate here. Jesus, son. So, look at Pete. Pete is pulling uh, Michael into his dark web here, you know? Yeah, abusing his power. Yeah, police officer can't be doing this, I'm sorry. Sure, it's the guy, but... 
Oh, just give me a second, guys. My fucking alarm's going off. Apologies for that. So it's a, a, an escalating sequence here. You're like, how far is, how far is this guy? This guy ain't going to fucking kill this guy, is he? You know? It's a beautiful location. I love the, like, giant poster in the background. Cool light. Yeah, a nicely uh, staged sequence. So it's a beat down. And he wants Michael to do it. Ray Liotta is amazing right now. Yeah, Michael's like, I don't want any part of this. Fucking hell, Pete. Hey, the motherfucker. Pete. Pete, just calm the fuck down. Shit, right in his back. Fucking hell, Pete. Why don't you tell me what to fucking do? Crazy fucking psychopath. Jesus, man. So zone one. Yeah, Madeline's still on edge here. Understandable. So we're going to have a potentially interesting conversation here. Is Michael going to let on to Karen regarding Pete's fucking aggressive behaviour? I don't know if he's going to let on here. Yeah, weird. That's about as far as he's... Yeah, I don't know if he's going to elaborate any... Oh, is he going to tell her? So it's interesting, they, he picked up the guy, but didn't arrest... Okay, I don't know, I really know how it works, to be honest, you know. Yeah, Michael's not impressed, the fact... Yeah, he saw a side to Pete that he doesn't like, you know. Overly aggressive manner is very uh, tr troublesome, you know. Yeah, Kurt, probably not right now, but yeah, it's not going to take long. It's like, do we really want this guy in our lives, you know? Or oh, is he the cat, cat, cat with fucking nine lives? Oh, so he's calling at early doors. That's it, finito. No relation, but she's ah. It's not as if she's got a thing for Pete, but she's willing to give him the benefit of the doubt until she sees it for herself. Oh shit, the cat's asleep. He's sensing bad things at play. So you guarantee Pete's going to play upon this. Especially if these two start butting heads in the relationship, Pete's going to worm his way in, you know? Oh, light outside. Oh, fuck me. Who can it fucking be? Fucking hell, cat. You want to move, mate? There's a police car outside. So it's just a random car. Very nice. Nice POV. Jesus, Pete. What are you fucking doing, man? Perving over fucking Karen. Look, he just wants her to get out of the pool. Oh, don't worry about your robe, love. I'll just come over to have a good look at your fucking ass, bitch. Look, he's perving. Look, look. I'll turn around, Pete. 
She's got a beautiful figure. No, I didn't, love. I can clearly see Michael's gone. I found him last night. Bit of slap and tickle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right, Pete. You reshaped the fucking narrative. I mean, Karen wasn't fucking there, mate. She'll, she'll buy up your fucking horse shit fucking tail, son. Yeah, you keep fucking spinning fucking lies, mate. Fuck me. You can guarantee the cat's watching him right now. All that. Pack of fucking lies incomings. He's like, what what hand is he playing right now? I'm the courageous protector type. All right. So maybe legit. Oh, look. Karen's falling into his fucking web, yeah? You guarantee, though, you'll only tell her this side of the story. You'll never repeat this tale to Michael. It's about telling her one thing and telling Michael the other. All about putting a wedge between these two. Yeah, he's making inroads into the relationship, into their lives. Wow, Madeline, baby. I love your swimmy, swimmy swimsuit, baby. Yeah, this very much feels like a sort of summertime movie, doesn't it? Oh, going to get some nightclub action. So it's a red carpet. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, Kurt's sort of into, like, interior architecture stages, I guess. High-class clientele. Wow, this is a ropey-ass fucking dance floor. Oh, yeah. Please tell me uh, Pete turns up. Come on, filmmakers. Give me a fuck. Oh, here's Pete. Look. Oh, yeah, mate. Pete's fucking suited in a booted. I'm loving this Pete character. He's out of fucking control. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Pete. Now, nah, it's not a case of the music being too loud, mate. The music's fucking garbage. Oh, look. Oh, hello, Michael. Oh, who cares? It's me again. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. I can't believe we keep bumping e into each other. Isn't that fucking random, son? I'm Pete Davis, corrupt law enforcement, LA style. Oh, hello, love. Yeah, right. I'm your man. You want security? You want security? Or do you want me to rough up some fucking black folk, yeah? Kurt is very... Yeah, Kurt's performance here, beautiful. Doesn't want anything to do with this guy. But sort of delaying the... Uh, they're going to have, have to have that conversation, you know? Look, he's going to head over to uh, Karen, isn't he? Spin another fucking yarn, you know? So he's a master-like manipulator, isn't he? Kara, you want to keep an eye on this fucking Pete character, mate? Penny. Penny and Pete. Two peas in a fucking pod, eh? Pete's not fucking interested. He's only interested in fucking Karen. Give them time. I know you got a face like a fucking train wreck, love. Pete's like, yeah, whatever, bitch. I'm not interested, you know? Huh. 
Ha 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 ha. Cut's very good. Here we go. Ah, oh, this is wonderful right now. Simmer and tension between these two. This is fabulous, baby. Hacking LP. He's a sh he's a shark, isn't he? He doesn't stop talking, you know. Type of in individual would just talk over someone, you know. Oh, what, are you trying to justify your fucking actions, Pete? I saw what you fucking did, mate. Yeah, brilliant from Kurt. These two are absolutely killing it right now. Are you sure about that, mate? You call yourself a fucking cop? Oh, yeah, mate. What's it to do with you speculating about my fucking private life? Yeah, give it to him, cut. Cut. Oh, so Karen, she's overheard it. Oh, yeah, Pete. Trying to make it out. Kicking you out of what, mate? You never fucking invited. Nice. Everybody's free! Very good! Oh, let's have a dance off. Oh, fuck you, son. Yeah. Oh, Simran. Feels good! Pete's like, this feels fucking good, mate. Oh, yeah, mate. Fucking hell, man. He's fucking dangerous, isn't he, Pete? Shit, cat. Oh, worrying times, baby. This is going to come to bite you back in the ass. So it's a private party tonight, and it feels good. I'm not sure if Pete's feeling good. He's about to fucking kill somebody. Look at him. Simmering our son. So what's he up to? Lingering outside. Uh, okay. So Karen continues to give him the uh, benefit of the doubt. Yeah, Pete, he's going to... What's he fucking waiting for here? He won't let it go. Ah, oh, fucking hell. So he's an obsessive type. Yeah, you know his target's going to be the wife. And he's making the decision right here, look. Yeah, that look in his eye. Yeah, piss off, mate. Don't instigate fucking conversation with me. So he's got a nice set of wheels here. There, yeah, that ominous look back. And it all, the camera pans onto her and back onto him. Yeah, setting up a collision course, isn't it, you know? So, I don't know, what are we looking at here? Lonely, he's an isolated guy, isn't he? You know? Just seems to be a guy, it's all about his job. Oh, look, he's picked up some fucking prostitute and they're going at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks, love. Oh, you yeah, spurting, bitch. Right, get out. Get out. I, sh I shot my load. Get out. Don't look in my fucking face. Piss off. He's, he doesn't do compassion, this guy. Post lovemaking. Look at him. Oh, she's got her money. Oh, it's not the first time. Okay. Yeah, he's very disconnected, isn't he? You know what's playing on his mind yet? 
He's fixating on the couple, isn't he? The car and the mic. Yeah, it's just an edgy individual. Oh, yeah, mate. That's not what you... Oh, so it's a different tale every fucking time. Depending on who he's fucking talking to. Look, love. Whenever I pay you... I'm not paying you for the fucking conversation, love. I'm paying you for the full-on fucking titillation. Now get out. He can't, he's got that look in his eye like he wants to fucking body bag her right here, right now. It's you talking to me. Jesus, mate. So he's cutting cut words. Shit. Oh yeah, Pete. Given he gave it to her both full for two fucking barrels worth of aggression. So he's out of control, this guy. He's got no fucking stability in his life. It's like he's got no fucking home life, you know? Oh, don't tell me he's training up fucking rookies. What the fuck is this? Yeah, right. This is what he tells everyone in the fucking... Oh, so he's educating school children. Oh, Madeline's in the background. Well, this is very fucking convenient, isn't it? Ah, it's all a part of his fucking ploy and planning, isn't it? To uh, just be lingering in the fucking shadows, you know? So Kurt's warnings, words to him, did not fucking register, you know? Oh, yeah, love. They both got a thing for him. So Madeline again looks fucking wonderful, doesn't she? So you got to give it to this Pete character. He's not um, he's uh, yeah, he's highly charismatic. He can talk the talk, walk the walk, you know. Oh, yeah, Pete. It's all about painting Michael in a bad light whenever you're talking to Karen, mate. Problem is, she's yet to see his darker side. So this is all all fairly believable, isn't it? Oh, you can trust me. I'm a cop. Yeah, just, just come with me, hun. So this is just bad fucking news, isn't it? Oh, yeah, what would you fucking know, Pete? Your web of fucking lies, mate. Oh, yeah, Pete, yeah. So, are we getting, like, undertones? Is Pete a bit of a... I wouldn't call it, like, a closet racist, but there is... Oh, yeah, there have been moments throughout the film. There was this moment... Uh, just briefly, when we stood outside the club and there was a, a black guy and girl making out and he was sort of fixating on them briefly. So, yeah, just getting, like, racial undercurrents here with the character, you know? Oh, yeah, Pete. Aren't you caring as he gets Karen to recite her fucking life story? Oh, Pete, he don't break eye contact. He's like, he's very, he's very interested in uh, Karen here, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Pete's like, yeah, look, I'm all about painting fucking Michael in a bad light. You want to be the real man? You want to get with me? 
Oh, I'm very incensed. Oh, I don't fucking matter, love. I got some... Karen, I've got some handcuffs, love. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, aren't you fucking charmer? Fucking hell, Karen. Read between the fucking lines, love. Porky pies, porky fucking lies. Look at him. Oh, I'll be there for you. Oh, yeah, 24-7. He knows the code to get into the fucking home. So you know what he's going to do yet? If you ever need somebody to talk to. So now, immediately, he's going to jump back on Michael here. How do I paint him in a fucking bad light? Great uh, isolated shower sequence here with Pete. Yeah, I'm really enjoying how much like screen time the villain's getting. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy putting together a psychological profile with this guy. He's quite, um, yeah, he's a fascinating, fascinating individual. Oh, we're in the precinct, coming out of the showers. So this guy, suppose, supposedly his partner, isn't it, I guess? Oh shit! Don't don't tell me he's reading between the lines. Yeah, he's got that look in his eye. Look, you need to keep this fucking professional, mate. Yeah, he's got his eye on him. Interesting, because you feel like that's not the last time we're gonna see that his partner. Fucking hell, Madeline Stowe, man. It's just a masterclass of fucking attire. She is spec fucking tacular throughout. That's fucking gorgeous, man, with the red lipstick and the red dress. So, where's Pete to? You know he's lurking in the shadows. <laughs> Oh, shit. Has Pete been fucking up Michael's fucking cards? Yeah, I guess so. He's law enforcement. He potentially has capacity to do this. What a fucking bastard, man. So, Brasieri Chaya. Swanky ass looking restaurant. Oh, and he's clamped his car. Look. Yeah, this is all Pete. This is all Pete's fucking dirty work. So this is a familiar looking face. Fucking hell, man. I've seen this guy in numerous fucking movies. I don't know if we can just take, get the other guy to pay for now. Say hello, I'll make it up to you. Don't tell me all of his fucking cards have been cancelled. Yeah, look, he's coming back. Shit. How can he be over the fucking limit? Oh, cat. Cat's bombing about. Shit. And it's raining outside. Thunder and lightning. Yeah, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit too style like in the incoming thunder. It's Pete. Pete's incoming, you know? The terror. The lurking presence. The man in the shadows. The corrupt fucking law enforcement. He's coming to collect. The wife first. The cat second. And he'll finish Michael last. Hmm. So they're still... Uh, it's interesting dynamics right now between these two. So we're going to get... Oh, shit. They're going to make love on the hard-ass floor. Fucking hell, man. Let me guess. As the camera is slowly pulling backwards here. Yeah. I don't think they're home alone right now. I think... 
Yeah, the thunder outside. I guarantee Pete's fucking looking on here. Yeah, coming up to an hour. Yeah. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Fucking hell, man. Here we get that fucking nine eye. Oh, he's got his pop pistol. Oh, shit, man. So this is now the uh, safe room. The bathroom is the safe room. Okay. Interesting. This is really concerning because at any moment, Pete knows the setup. Oh, man. So, yeah, it's taken a while for the film to get going, but I feel like we're well and truly slipping into sort of full-on 90s thriller mode here, you know? Cat's not happy. He's coming. He's coming to get us all. Fuck. Help me. So... Performances are absolutely stellar right now from the three principal leads. She's starting to doubt him a little bit. Oh, this is all Pete's fucking dirty work. in the back of his mind, isn't it? This ain't fucking over, you know? Oh, shit. Is somebody looking on to get some artwork and more lovemaking? Oh, fuck me. If you're married to Madeline fucking Star, you're going to be at it 24-7. It's a fucking flash -a -thon. Nice. Nice sex sequence. Oh, and some titillation. Oh, shit. Question is, is Pete in the room? He's not behind the fucking door. Fuck me, son. Is he? Is he? You just don't know. Oh, look. Look at him. Is he really there? Look. What the fuck, man? So he's having a good fucking gaze. No, no. It's... Is it real or not? Okay, maybe it's really happening. For a second now, for is it? Is this a dream sequence? Fucking hell, man. Yeah, Kurt knows. Michael knows here. Yeah. You triggered this. Just an excuse to let yourself in and have a look at my fucking wife. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, beautiful sequence with the rain outside. Oh, Jesus, man. Kurt, baby. You want to change this uh, security setup, mate? Change your locks or fucking move out, mate. Yeah, it's a brilliant setup. Because when the uh, shady ass individual that's moving in on you is actual law enforcement, it just makes things really, really fucking delicate, you know? Well, good luck trying to file a fucking complaint here. You guarantee Pete Davies is a pretty protected man, you know? Yeah, look. Yeah, you guarantee Pete would have had a word with this captain. So, look, if a certain individual starts coming in and pointing the finger at me, look, I didn't do anything unsward, you know? Covering his tracks. Yeah, can you tie it back to the guy, you know? He has nothing on him right now.
yeah, the captain's right here. You need to give me a little bit more. You're sort of fishing in the dark right now, mate. You know, go home, you know. Do we, uh, I don't know. Do we take this guy's word for it, you know? There's just maybe this whole angle, which the film probably won't really tackle. Yeah, it's Pete the only one. How far does fucking corruption run deep, deep within this fucking precinct, you know? Yeah, well, the way those two officers looking back, back and forth at each other suggests, you know? Who can you fucking trust? Oh, Jesus, man. Yeah. It's all building towards the fucking showdown in the fucking home, innit? There'll be the three of them. I just don't think that's going to work. This guy's all about the fucking vendetta, isn't he? You know? You cross me, I'll take you to fucking hell and back, you know? He's that type. Beautiful shot of L.A. Rack focus, back onto Pete. Heat of the night. Ah, this is wonderful, man. Oh, shit. It's a little meet-up. Protagonist, antagonist, LA style. Cinematography is wonderful here. Gonna get a beautiful little rack focus here. Yeah, I like the stage in here. This is really nice. I think the trigger is Michael witnessing the beatdown. I swear he started to turn against this uh, Pete character. <laughs> oh, shit. It's Michael trying to sort of speak to his better self. Pete's not fucking listening. It's all a fucking game with him, look. No, he's not saying shit to him. You think this guy wants fucking money? He don't fucking care about the money. Bribe me, Mikey. There is something I want from you, mate. How about your fucking wife? That's the sound of silence. Crickets. Oh, and howling fucking mutts. Howling. Poodle. And she started fucking screaming. I got so fucking turned on by all of it. I thought I tracked the fucking ordeal. It's fucking glorious. Oh, shit. What? Oh, fucking hell, Pete. What do you fucking... And how does he fucking know about that? Oh, car is going to knock him about, yeah? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ah, the performance is unbelievable right now. It could kill him. A treat is fucking self-defense. Fuck me. Jesus, man. Kurt's in over his head here. Wow, what a performance. What a moment here from Kurt Russell. Wow, this is spectacular. The acting is off the fucking scale. Christ, man. Should the acting be be as good as this. It's not a criticism of the type of film, but fuck me, they've got the casting on point here, man. Enos needs to come clean here with his fucking wife, you know? I'm concerned, man. Oh, he's going to have it out with her. Have you been fucking talking to him? Oh, shit. Speak. 
spilling your fucking life story. Question is, is she going to believe him or not? She's... Oh, I don't know, man. Yeah, she's starting to die a doubt, Michael. Oh, shit. This is what Pete wanted all along, you know? It's brilliant so far. Because she's yet to really see it for herself. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Oh, man. So we're still in LA? LA, 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 LA. So what are you doing, Kurt? Yeah, common sense, son. Change the locks. Okay. Oh, so it's this guy. Maybe. Officer Cole. Yeah. Oh, what do you know about him, Officer Cole? Has he got fucking history? Fucking people up? Shit. Yeah, he does know, look. But he won't let on. Yeah, this is a nice angle. Oh, Cole, Cole, Cole. Cole in it. Cole's going to come good at the 11th hour. He's not willing to play. Oh, he's coming back. Maybe not. Come in. Oh, shit. Question is, has Cole got the power to protect the uh, couple? Oh, what? Pete, now. Replacement fucking husband. Incoming. Yeah, Cole is like, look, mate, it's pep talk time. You need to back away from this. Oh, shit. Playing with him. It's so... Brilliant. Oh, shit. Oh, sh... Pete. Pete's gonna take out fucking Cole. Not right here. Look. It's totally true, though, what he's saying. Look, mate, you need fucking help. Pete's not fucking having it. Look, he'll look back here. He's gonna fucking kill him. He's gonna kill fucking Cole. Look, look. Shit. Here we go. Yeah, it's the pair of them heading off for the evening. Yeah, watch. It's Pete. Pete's all about fucking staging, isn't he? Look. He's gonna set it up. So, he's going to ping, pin something on Carl, some like accidental shooting s outcome here. Look. Look, 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 look. So. Oh, shit. He's got a chase sequence incoming. Yeah, this is all... This is Pete's ploy. Yeah, his target is not this kid. Yeah, look, Cole's in the uh, passenger side with him. Look, fucking hell, Cole, you need to get out of here. Great lot, sort of like back alleyways, fiery canisters. I like it, man. Yeah, good locations throughout the movie. Very nice. Shit! Foot chase. So what's going to happen here? 
Pete's going to kill Cole and then he'll get the prince from the fucking guy they're chasing and then just pin it on him. I'm calling it, man. Oh, wow. So we're heading into some run-down apartment area. So he's got drugs. Okay. It's a drug bust. All right, is it hardly breaking the fucking law? He's got a stash. Here we go, look. Look, 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 look. Fucking hell, Cole. Oh, look. Oh, look, 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 look. Here we go. Black gloves. Yeah, look. It's covering the prints, isn't it? As he closes the door in an ominous fashion. He's about to kill his fucking partner. You fucking bastard, Pete. Fucking hell, Cole. Checking his corners. Let's pull these fucking blinds down. Wow. Holy shit, baby. What a twist, man. Oh, it's an easy one to clock, innit? And then all about getting the prints off this guy. Look. Take the gun, mate. Got him. Got the evidence. Yeah, yeah, perfect, innit? He's got the whole lot there. Prince off the kit. Yeah, look. He's already got his speech ready. I love the tilted camera shot. Interesting lens they're using here. Yeah, makes uh, Ray Liotta look very, very menacing. Fucking alcohol. I mean, you try to do your best, mate. Well, see, not me. You just fucking killed me. You twat. Wow, he's fucking sinister. Yeah, where does this fucking land in, like, Ray Liotta's entire filmography? I, I gotta put this character easily top fucking five best performances ever. He's fucking wonderful in this movie. Carl's just dying out. It's a slow death. Unfortunate, because you know, this guy's trying to do the right thing, you know. Yeah, Jesus. Oh yeah. And he took the shot. He took Cole out. I'm devastated. Croc crocodile fucking tears at play. Oh, yeah. Check on fucking Hyde, Pete, eh? You'd know about that, son. Oh, yeah, mate. Aren't you a caring type? <laughs> oh, sweep some more. Shit. Oh, I doubt if Kurt's going to hear about this, you know? Shit. Somebody outside. Oh, shit. Is it that fucking lingering dickhead again? Oh, who is it? Oh, his fucking property's getting fucking searched. Don't tell me. Pete's gonna fucking plant some evidence on Michael in regards to getting him sent down or get him out of the house for X amount of time so he can move in on the fucking wife. Look. Searching. See inside and they're and they're arresting him immediately, look. Fucking hell man. Oh, yeah, lads and ladies. This guy wearing a fucking wig. What the fuck are these fucking dickheads doing? Trashing the play. Oh, they don't fucking care. Is it all about smashing fucking glass, lads? Fuck me, man. 
I know it's a fucking drugs bust. Oh yeah, the cat's like, fuck off. Fucking hell, man. So you can guarantee Pete, yeah, Pete planted the fucking evidence, didn't he? So Michael's not resisting arrest here, but he knows exactly what's going on. Jesus, son. Oh, man. How desperate is this getting right now? Oh, shit. How's Michael going to get out of this, you know? As you can see, Karen's going to be home alone now. So they're in no rush. Just going to let it... All right, mate. Can I trust you? Right. The guys to the right are laughing. Lawyer? Oh, no lawyers in this sucking town. Nice POV. Subjective. Attached to Kurt. Oh, no, Kurt. It's like Tango and fucking Cash, baby. Oh. oh. Put him in the penthouse suite. Sly's in the fucking... He's in the penthouse wing. Jesus, son. They're putting him in with the worst of the worst. So it's the guy... It's the guy from earlier. Jesus, man. So it's obviously not a sell to himself, or is it? Jesus, man. Is 10 minutes going to be enough? Is this guy going to believe him, you know? Ah, he's giving him a hug. Okay, now Michael's he's been put through the ringer here, isn't he? His concern is very much his wife now. She is home alone. He ain't got any fucking funds left, you know? Jesus, son. That ain't going to be enough. Guarantee the bail will be super fucking high. Half a pound of cocaine. Cocainian. Oh, mate, you don't want it. Too big a case. Roy Cole, he's fucking dead, mate. Jesus, son. That realisation on Kurt's face, like, he knows now. You're in, your ball's deep now, Kurt. Yeah, it's our only concern now. It's protecting his home and his wife. So it's an interesting sequence how this sort of protect. Okay, so we're going to get a courtroom sequence. Interesting. I guess technically it's not really jumping forward in time. Well, at least she's there in attendance, so the relationship ain't done for just yet. Possession of cocaine. Fucking fabricated, lads. This is how it fucking works in LA. Everybody's fucking in. Everything's been fucking planted, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, why would he, why would my client be dabbling in fucking drugs? He doesn't even look like the type, you know? Oh, look. Fabrication. That ain't fucking real. That's a Photoshop special from Pete. Jesus. $250,000. Fuck me, man. Well, they ain't got the fucking money, have they? So Kurt ain't getting home. Oh, Pete's looking on. Oh, yeah, mate. Fucking hell, man. Oh, there's nothing he can do yet. And he knows for a fact that his wife's very, very vulnerable, you know? Interesting. Is that really Pete or not? Or just uh, Michael's, I don't know, pestering subconscious voice? Yes, yeah, it's conscience here, isn't it? Nice angle. Cranking up like the psychological aspects to the movie. Yeah, you know for a fact, this isn't really... Pete Davy. he ain't really here right now. This is all headspace. But a cool sequence. Maybe that's the only way of stopping this guy. Oh, you shook me up with your harsh words. Yeah, that's a really interesting... Oh, not entirely. Maybe that did play out for real, but I just... I, that's like high psychological headspace moment, I guess. Oh, shit. Okay. So, does our friend have a part to play? I mean, the friend, this friend character, she has literally no idea what's fucking going on, you know? The cat probably knows more than her. Well, the cat, the cat clocked B immediately, didn't he? You know? Cat's like, I'm going to get fucking weaponized. When he breaks in, I'm going to take the fucking shot. Shoot him in the fucking head. Fucking hell, Kurt. You're in for the long haul, son. There ain't any fucking guards. Fuck you, mate. You no fucking calls. You're going down. You're on death's fucking doorstep. Shit. Stop talking to me. Feel like I'm about to get shredded by Pete. Oh, shit. Oh, Pete's lingering outside. That's how he's... Oh, yeah, Penny. Oh, how unfortunate. Bought some groceries. I, I brought some cat cat poison over with me. Can you let me in? You put you put the, you can put the poison in his fucking whiskers, yeah? I'll pin it on you, bitch. Let me in. How do I become popular within your fucking psyche? Oh, yeah. Oh, Pete. Did you bring over a nice French fucking stick, mate? You twat. <laughs> you know he's not leaving. He's lingering. Doesn't like to enter during the uh, daytime. He's a man of action at night. Oh, shit. This stupid fucking cow. There's going to be something in this bag here. Oh, man. 
Oh, she's also going to bring it inside. Oh, the coats. I'd be really surprised if he just breaks in it. Doesn't feel like the time. Oh, shit, he fucking did. So that's another recognisable face. Don't know the actor name, but I've seen him in multiple things. So shit, did Pete immediately just get in? So oh, fuck me, man. So it's a slow process. Uh, just so this fucking... Oh, back at the house. So fucking hell, Madeline. Karen. She's sleeping in all day. Blissfully unaware of the fact that Pete's now in the fucking house. You know? Oh, they turn the cat's pictures. It's angular. It's side on. Oh, the cat's fucking dead. Shit. Fucking hell. Mike needs to get out of it. Please let me out, mate. I need to get back to my fucking wife, you know? I'll pay the money. I'll pay the money later. Let me out. Let me out. Oh, that's just one option. He needs to cut to the chase immediately. Yeah, you're in fucking danger, you know? Oh, typical fucking fashion. She's in the fucking shower. Fucking hell. These 90s thrillers, they always end up in the fucking bathroom, don't they? The shower. Or just a shower or bath, bath to have action, you know? Jesus, man. Yeah, there's nothing the operator can do here, you know? Did she, put, did she take it off the hook? Probably not. It's probably him. So you know for a fact they're going to drag this sequence out. It's not her. Oh shit, look. Hi. Oh shit. Oh yeah, Pete. He's a master chef. Nice romantic dinner between these two. She's dead. Put her in the oven, love. Third wheel. He's put her in the fucking patio, isn't he? Where's the cat to? Shoot. Phone's off the hook. Come on, Karen. Read between the lines, love. So we, we've had this scene. Oh, so the first time she's starting to fight back. Oh, yeah, Pete. You're all about fucking bending her over, ain't you, son? No, you can't. Sexually frustrated, ain't you, mate? Pretending as he's about to force himself upon her. Yeah, she's very good here, Madeline Stowe. Oh, Ray Liotta is so fucking sinister throughout. It's a beautifully uh, measured turn as a uh, officer, Pete Davies. What? Like murdering, mate? Stalking? Abduction? You've got quite a fucking skill set, ain't you, mate? Oh, look. She's playing games. Hmm. Cat and mouse between these two. Oh, he's, he's fallen for it. Kind of. Go 
God, if you got any sense, love. Uh, oh, the cat. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, the cat. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Tiny Tim. He got fucking shredded. Oh, no. Where's the fucking cat to? Ah, uh, this is a cool sequence. Simmer and tension. Yeah, nice. Nice staging, nice close-ups, music, editing. Oh, cats. Okay. He may be all right. Oh, I'm still al Oh, no. Oh, shit. He body-bagged the friend. Hideous. Oh, shit, she need. Oh, fuck. Don't let on the fact that you've just been in that. Oh, he's going to know for sure, isn't he? Yeah, Pete will know the... F you, Pete will know the fact that the cat was in with the body. This is a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, come on, Pete. Surely she's got the cat. She's pulled the cat from the space where the body's to, and Pete's not suspecting. This is a little bit ridiculous. Cat's like, fuck me. Cat's like, I just look passive. Don't make eye contact, and maybe you'll spare me. Be nice, Pete. Don't shred me, son. Fucking hell, man. Oh, yes, baby. So Kurt Russell is getting out of L.A. County Jail. First call, cool. let's get fucking home. So that's a race against time. Oh, we're going to get some disturbing... Oh, God. He's going to force himself upon her. Oh, he's a tender lover. It's old Pete Davies. Very tender. He's a tender turkey. Just relax, love. I'm a real man. I'm so fucking caring. What's he doing here? Got her lying on a fucking table. Jesus, man. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Let's have a good fucking look, don't it? Oh, you do love me. Yeah, right, mate. So she's not stupid. She knows. She knows. He doesn't do don'ts, love. In his world, fucking no means yes. Every time you say no, that means you're really into me, love. Oh, let me force myself upon you. Oh, yeah. Clever. Giving herself time. Or a reason not to be around him. And he's sort of falling for it a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if it's a minor criticism of the character. Mm. Don't be long. Kurt's bombing back. It's a really cool uh, intercut in here. Ian Foon going through red lights, mate. Oh, well, that's. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck me. They're getting tracked. Nice tilted camera shot. Staircase. Yeah, he's being tracked by uh, Lauren. Oh, is he going to be able to get home in time? Is she fucking leaving? She's packing her bag? What's this about? Oh, shit. You looking to take me out, love? Oh, yeah. You really think I'm going to believe your fucking porky pies, bitch? I told you. To get fucking naked. It ain't open for fucking debate, love. Get naked now. 
Oh, shit. He's very much a watcher, isn't he? Yeah, this is really cool. The inser cutting. Come on, car. You know the back... You know LA's your fucking hellhole, mate. You know the back roads. Do it. Oh, God. Clever. Let the lawyer deal with the officer and Kurt's on a fucking foot chase home. Smart. So Madeline, she's wearing a little black number here. White and black. Well, I'm pleased to say I'm, I'm going to call it the cat survives. So I'm happy. Taking off our wedding ring. As long as the cat fucking lives, I don't care about anybody else. Oh, she's queuing him in. Oh, he's still got the gun. Oh, Jesus, so intense. He's, really, he's well and truly lost his fucking mind, isn't he? He really believes that he can be with her. It's not love, though. It's fucking lust, man. And Officer Pete Davies, he can easily get those two terms confused, you know? It's not fucking love, mate. It's just a fucking flesh of fun. Look, look at him. He's having a good fucking grope. Nice, with the photograph. Kurt, the couple in the background. Yeah, this is all very good right now. She's going to go for the gun. Oh, shit, baby. She won't get hold of it. No chance. He knows, look. What were you fucking thinking? You really believe I'm that fucking stupid, love? I'll put you in a fucking body bag. When I fell, yeah. Now it's going to get very aggressive, I think. Oh, she's going for the gun again. Wow, shit. Oh, here we go. Classic 90s manoeuvre. He'll, he'll slowly start walking. He'll say something, walk towards her. Keep talking, keep walking forward. This is literally like Martin Burney from Sleeping with the Enemy. Yeah, look at him. Look. Like, yeah, it wasn't fucking loaded. Or was it? Oh, oh shit. So there we go. He's got a raper. A cock, cock teaser. Fucking hell. Whore. Oh. Yeah, fuck, I'm gonna fuck you like a fucking whore, bitch. Pump a fucking grind. Fuck you like my dirty little fucking slut. Fucking hell, Ray. Pete Davies. Oh. He's tickling our fucking fanny juice. Oh, no, it's the alarm. Fuck me. Well. So who's outside? Interesting. Oh, he's got hold of her. This is wonderful, man. Oh, he's cuffing her. Oh, he's cuffing her in the kitchen. Come on, Kurt, baby. Where are we to, Mike? Hubby? Oh, at least he's lured him outside. The question is, we don't know if Michael weaponized or not. Shit. It's a building towards our finale. Here we go. Shits, man. Yeah, don't try and break her out, mate. It's more a case of uh, defending yourself because he's going to be coming back up here. Oh, he's trying to free her. To me, this is the wrong fucking manoeuvre. My technique here would be trying to take out the fucking guy, you know? Shit. Here we go. 
Oh, the cat. Cat's trying to help. Shit. Oh, I'm terrified. Oh, no. Fucking hell. Oh, it's cat, cat kicking off for two Pete and fucking Mike. Then right all oh, to the strength he's got him. Come on, mother, lover, woman. Karen, help. So, Mike, he's, I mean, it is Kurt Russell. He's no fucking slouch. He's putting up a bit of a fight, yeah? Fucking hell, man. Great sequence. Fucking hell. Sharon hour. That's it. Guys, guys, his eyes out. Fucking get him, Kurt. Fuck me. <laughs> That's it. Fuck him up. Put some fucking salt in his eyes. Shred him, mate. Get him. Kill him. Kill him. Well, that was clearly a stunt guy. Oh, frying pan. Oh, he knocked him out. Shit. Do you think Pete's really going to pick up the fucking phone? He is. Oh, yeah, mate. I feel like this is a fatal error in picking up this phone. Pyramid. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Ain't gonna fucking fuck you, me. He won't let his wife. He's all about protecting his wife. Even if he fucking kills him. Fuck me, where's the fucking help to? Anyone. Law enforcement. Shit. Stand off here. I'll kill the guy. Let me in. Mike won't let him in. So get to her. Yeah, that's fucking bullshit, mate. She'll let him in and he'll still fucking kill Mike. You know, he's that fucking type. Yeah, performances are amazing here. Dialed up, baby. Nice, nice. Wow. That's it, Kurt. Kick him in the fucking nards. Oh, taking a tumble. Stunt, guys. Taking a tumble. It's not Ray Liotta. Don't even look remotely like him. Oh, don't do this, ladies and gents. Oh, this is another 90s manoeuvre where they think they're fucking dead. They always come back. One final scare, you know? You'd be better off shooting him when he's at the top of the stairs. Because you know he's not done for it. He's playing... Oh, his head's all bloodied. Is he dead or not? Oh, fuck me. He's not fucking dead. I'm calling it, look. No, he ain't. He's playing dead. Tense. Because he could grab out any second. Nice with the alarm buzzing. On and off. Kind of feel like Kurt should have taken a shot here. He ain't fucking dead. He is not dead here. I feel like this Pete Davies character. Oh, Kurt, look behind you, mate. Cat is queuing you in. Look, there he is. Fucking up. Citizen's arrest. No, mate. Put a bullet. Yeah, well done. Beautiful, baby. 
So multiple fucking shots. I like it, man. A little bit fucking naive and dumb. The fact that he turned his back to him, but at least he took multiple shots. Clever, the cat cued uh, Michael in. So the cat was the star of the fucking show, baby. Unsung fucking hero. Kitty fucking cat. Oh, in typical fashion as well. Everything's resolved. And then it's the sound of fucking cop cars. Never around when you fucking need them, you know? In these 90s fucking thrillers. There's the cat. I saved the day. And I lived. It's unheard of. Normally, us cats get fucking shredded in these 90s thrillers. But I lived to tell the tale. Oh, yeah. Surveillance SWAT team. Fucking useless. There we are. Now cast credits. Oh, I love it, man. Yeah, beautiful movie, guys. Fabulous. Yeah, holds up a treat. Tight as hell. Motors are long. Performance is amazing. Music, cinematography, directing. It's all solid as hell, man, isn't it? Uh, if I was to score it out of 10, maybe like 8.5 out of 10, you know. I think it's as good as you could get it for something like this, you know. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, guys, I'm working on a 90s memorable villains bios. So I'm definitely doing one on this officer, Pete Davies. There's a lot to get into of his shady fucking character. So do look out for that. And do check out the other bios I've done, you know. So all good guys, just winding down the credits, and you know the credits will be super fucking short. It's the 1990s, it's the way I like it, you know. Yeah, they really don't make films like this nowadays that are nice and tight, and tight and lean, you know. There's no fat on this movie, you know. Doesn't outstay its welcome. Sequences aren't too long, you know. Every edited decision feels right, logical, you know. Yeah, they just seem to get the pacing. The pacing, I think, with a lot of films in, like, mid to sort of early 90s, just very, very slick, you know? So just winding down here. Assistant to Mr. Liotta, David Cohen. Very nice. Yeah, I think Los Angeles is a really cool location for a tale of this nature. Um, edgy, slick, yeah, grimy, corruption. Yeah, it's very much like the go-to city in the early 90s. Probably more so than like New York City, you know. Yeah, anybody still listening? I'm very much into these like 1990s thrillers. Really, it's from the period of like 1990 to like, let's say 1993. If you've got any suggestions out there for films I can potentially cover, do um, get in the comments section, you know. Um, I've covered a few already, as I said, probably already mentioned. I've covered... Uh, Sleeping with the Enemy, Hand That Rocks the Cradle, Pacific Heights, Single White Female, and a few others. So, yeah, if you've got any suggestions other than those, yeah, do let me know. Copyright 1992. So, brilliant, guys. Yeah, this is me, John Doe, signing off. Today, I've been covering Unlawful Entry, and it was damn fucking good, and it was released by 20th Century Fox. Beautiful movie. I'll see you soon. Bye now.